My name is Zach Mafendo Wajau. I am the branch executive secretary of the Kenya National Union of Teachers in Yeri. I don't know whether to refer to it as uh, the Moriban KNUT Yeri branch. I am the branch executive secretary. Well, uh, as you all know, because this is something that you know, NAC has undergone a lot of tumultuous uh, moments since 2019. There has been a lot of fights between the Kenya National Union of Teachers, the government, and mostly the Teacher Service Commission. But I want to believe that uh, these fights have been orchestrated by the kind of the enmity between only one person and the government agencies. Therefore, in most cases, what we do is that we blame everything on our Secretary General. Because I think the function of the Kenya National, I mean, of any trade union movement is to make sure that you negotiate and you negotiate properly. Issues of just thumping, demands, and all those other, those other things are not acceptable in trade union movement. Therefore, uh, since uh, I think the start of this year, all the branches have not received a single penny. Therefore, a branch like Nyeri, we closed down sometimes in um, July this year. That's when we closed down our offices. Last year. Oh, no, last year, sorry. July last year, we closed down the offices because we are not in a position, we cannot be able to pay rent. We are not paying our members of staff because there is total cash crunch within the Kenya National Union of Teachers. That is why we closed down the offices. So I would want to say that there's nothing that is going on in Nyeri branch, KNUT. And the situation, it is quite regrettable and we are actually asking for what you call sobriety. In actual sense, yesterday we saw in our papers that uh, the SD has gone to court trying to block uh, the Teacher Service Commission from using the CPGs and favoring the SOS. While we believe, we, I mean, we agree with him, probably SOS is a better option. But what we are saying is, has he consulted the teachers on the ground? Because teachers have benefited, a number of them have benefited from the, 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 the CPGs. When you, once you go back to the court to block that, what is the feeling of the teachers? Today we had an AGM, and you can see the feelings of the teachers. They want Teacher Service Commission to adopt a method that will benefit them. So I think it is quite important that before he takes any action, let him consult the teachers of this country. Let him consult other NAT leaders, because he does not have the monopoly of the That is no relationship between that case and the issue of money. This is the Teacher Service Commission, which has completely crippled NAT. The, not not to the teacher service commission that misunderstanding between the TSC and Sosun that is what has caused this you see in that question that you're asking me this was something from the from Sosun himself we held a meeting that in branch executive secretaries nationally that in of us on 10th of June 9th and 10th of June we made a proposal to the teacher service commission in actual sense we what, what, what we did right is what you call a petition to the CEO teacher service commission because we wanted to rescue this union that is what we wanted then when Susun received that petition he decided to take what he terms as disciplinary action which is not anchored anywhere within our constitution and that is why he, he even he didn't even write any disciplinary letter but he decided to choose other people to nominate other people to, I mean, to, to, to act in the branch offices and screaming that he has suspended Madenge. That is how I went to court and I'm glad because Susun was slapped with what you call permanent injunction, restraining him from interfering with the officials of Nyeri branch in terms of accounts and the names. So there's no connection between that suspension or that issue and the lack of money within Nyeri branch. So, before I come to that, let, let, let me say something, because this year, all trade union movements in Kenya, it is a requirement, a labor requirement within the Labor Act, they must go down back to the two elections. And we are starting from the branch level all the way to the national level. In, our Kenya, in the case of our Kenya National Union of Teachers, elections have already started. They have already started and teachers are choosing, they are electing their own leaders. Even today, a branch, in, uh, a branch called Kiabu East, which is in central region, is conducting its elections today. I th want to believe that they are through with those elections. But what we are saying is this. We are kindly asking anybody from the steering or the national office not to interfere with branch elections. Let teachers make their own choice. So they have already kick-started. Ours is coming on 13th of March. That is for Nyeri branch. 
although we have very few members there are only about 319 members as at now as per november uh, november 2020 there were 319 but we are expecting to hold this election smooth smoothly on 13th of march this year sir okay. the union this union is not going to die and as we say, this union is quite old. In fact, it is 62 years old. It was 19, it was started in 1957. That's about 50, no, 60, 63 years old. And we believe this union is not going to die. What the members need to do, and I'm calling upon the delegates, we are supposed to target the problem of this union, the person who is causing the problems to this union. If it is the national chair, let him go. If it is the national treasurer, let him go. If it is the secretary general, we are calling upon the delegates to let him go. Because as uh, Saitoti said, you know, national issues are more important than individual issues. And that is what Sosion should understand. In fact, he's not, even, he's not, he's not more important than, 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 the, than the Kenya National Union of Teachers. If he is the problem, I am calling upon the delegates to vote him out in the forthcoming special delegates conference, which might be coming in June, and then let other leaders lay the ground for the revival of this union. That is the only thing I'm asking me. This was something from, from Sosion himself. We held a meeting, 13 branch executive secretaries nationally, 13 of us on 10th of June, 9th and 10th of June. We made a proposal to the Teacher Service Commission. In actual sense, we what, what, what we did right is what you call a petition to the CEO Teacher Service Commission. Because we wanted to rescue this union. That is what we wanted. Then when Susun received that petition, he decided to take what he terms as disciplinary action, which is not anchored anywhere within our constitution. And that is why he, he, even, he didn't even write any disciplinary letter, but he decided to choose other people, to nominate other people, to, I mean, to, to, to act in the branch offices and screaming that he has suspended Madenge. That is how I went to court and I'm glad because Susun was slapped with what you call permanent injunction, restraining him from interfering with the officials of Nyeri branch in terms of accounts and the names. So there's no connection between that suspension or that issue and the lack of money within Nyeri branch. So, before I come to that, let, let, let me say something, because this year, all trade union movements in Kenya, it is a requirement, a labor requirement within the Labor Act, they must go down back to the two elections. And we are starting from the branch level all the way to the national level. In, our Kenya, in the case of our Kenya National Union of Teachers, elections have already started. They have already started and teachers are choosing, their own, electing their own leaders. Even today, a branch, in, uh, a branch called Kiabu East, which is in central region, is conducting its elections today. I want to believe that they are through with those elections. But what we are saying is this. We are kindly asking anybody from the steering or the national office not to interfere with branch elections. Let teachers make their own choice. So they have already kick-started. Ours is coming on 13th of March. That is for Nyeri branch. Although we have very few members, there are only about 319 members. As at now, as per November, uh, November 2020, there were 319. But we are expecting to hold this election smooth, smoothly on 13th of March this year. Sir, uh, for the... the union. This union is not going to die. And as we say, this union is quite old. In fact, it is 62 years old. It was 19, it was started in 1957. That's about 50, no, 60, 63 years old. And we believe this union is not going to die. What the members need to do, and I'm calling upon the delegates, we are supposed to target the problem of this union, the person who is causing here. Sir. Uh, for the... the union. This union is not going to die. And as we say, this union is quite old. In fact, it is 62 years old. It was, 19, it was started in 1957. That's about 50, no, 60, 63 years old. And we believe this union is not going to die. What the members need to do, and I'm calling upon the delegates, we are supposed to target the problem of this union the person who is causing the problems to this union. 
If it is the national chair, let him go. If it is the national treasurer, let him go. If it is the secretary general, we are calling upon the delegates to let him go. Because as Saitoti uh, uh, said, you know, national issues are more important than individual issues. And that is what Sosion should understand. In fact, it's not, even, it's not, it's not more important than, 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 the, than the Kenyan National Union of Teachers. If he is the problem, I am calling upon the delegates to vote him out in the forthcoming special delegates conference, which might be coming in June. And then let other leaders lay the ground for the revival of this union. That is the only thing I